Hey beauties! So today I'm going to take you through how to get this everyday look. I wear this pretty much on most occasions. We're going to double use some products so you have less products and very few brushes that you need to achieve this. Stay tuned! So we're going to start off with some skin prep. I'm going to be using this Fresh Lotus uh, Day Cream and this Fresh Lotus Eye Cream. Skin prep is super important because it's kind of the base to all of your makeup. So I'm just going to use my ring finger to dab a little bit of eye cream underneath my eyes. You use your ring finger so that you don't damage the skin. The skin is super, super thin and requires a lot of special attention. I'm going to go in with the lotion. This lotion has a really nice fresh scent. And the day lotion is really nice and light. It's a great base for makeup. It's a great moisturizer, especially in this winter that we're having. And if you want to prevent wrinkles, you always swipe up. Go against gravity. I always like to keep these little caps on them. Um, I feel like it helps them from getting dehydrated and drying out a little bit quicker. So. Now that my skin's all prepped, we are going to go in with a little bit of color correcting for my under eyes. I'm using NYX Cosmetics Peach Color Corrector. This is shade number two in light. So again, I'm just dabbing that under my eyes. I have very blue and dark under eyes. So peach helps to correct blue undertones. I also like bringing it right up into this corner too and across my lids sometimes. My inner corners are very blue, which is very common for a lot of people. And then to prep my eyelids, I am going to use the Age Rewind uh, Concealer. And then I am going to go in with my Physician's Formula Bronzer, Butter Bronzer. This is Sun Kissed. I am going to use my Sigma Flush Fluffy Brush, take some product it out and I'm just gonna go right into my crease just a little little bit above it add some definition into the eye add a little more depth there and then on the eyelid I'm gonna use my old Elf, I think this is Moonlight um, Highlighter, and I'm just going to press that onto the eyelid. I'm just going to go back in with my fluffy brush and blend out any of those corners so you don't get a harsh line. So that's all I'm going to do for my eyes for right now. Um, we'll do mascara at the end, and now I'm going to go on to my skin. So. Because this is a more daytime, easygoing look, you can skip foundation altogether or you can use whatever coverage you'd like. I'm going to use the Ordinary 1.2Y in their regular. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand here. And then because I'm going for a sheer daytime look, I'm going to actually use some of the Fresh Lotus um, moisturizer about half and half. And I'm going to mix those two together to create my own tinted moisturizer. So this doesn't work with every moisturizer foundation combination, but it will work with a lot. I'm just going to dab it onto my skin before I blend it in. Start at the centers of my face because that's where I want the most coverage. And then you can blend it out from there. I am going to take my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush and just pick up the rest of that product and just start from the center and just blend my way out. So this is going to be a very sheer coverage and it's also going to be super moisturizing which in our Canadian winter right now which we're just coming out of the deep breeze the extra moisturizer is definitely needed. Okay, and now I'm going to move on to some concealer. 
So I'm just gonna use that same Reblon Instant Age Rewind or Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm using the color Sand. Again, I'm just gonna apply it mostly into the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it in and blend it out. Using your finger for a concealer helps warm it up and it actually will press it and meld it into your skin a little bit better. Especially if you're not using a really full coverage one, this works really well. I am just gonna set that with some e.l.f. under eye can setting powder. Nothing fancy today. I'm just gonna use my finger and tap it in it and just press it under my eye. My finger for under eye concealer has been working the best for me because I do have some creases under there and it really helps press it into those mm -hmm. creases without moving mm -hmm. the makeup. So always press, don't swipe or you will move your makeup and you don't want that. Now we're going to go back in with my butter bronzer and my angled brush from Sigma for contour. I'm just gonna press it in right underneath and on top of my cheekbone to start, and then I'm gonna blend it down. So I just blend down and swipe so that you get the most uh, concentrated amount of um, bronzer up in your temple area, and then it gets a little bit lighter as you come down into your face. And I'm going to pinch the brush, take, pick up a little bit of product, and I'm going to come down the sides of my nose. Mm -hmm. Just add a little bit of dimension there. And again, underneath your jawbone. And now we're going to go back in with that e.l.f. highlight. I'm just going to use my fingers for this pick some up and I'm just going to press it along the top of my cheekbone. Tip a little bit and you can go on your cupid's bow. I'm going to use Frat Boy by The Bomb for blush. It's really pretty. And using that same brush apply that. I'm actually going to pick up my fluffy brush again, pick up a little bit, and just bring that into my crease. It'll help tie the look together. So now we are on to my favorite part, which is the eyebrows. So I'll actually show you what I do with my eyebrows today. I'm using the Tattoo Studio from Maybelline in Medium. Um, it's their gel. And I'm just using a nice little angle brush here. Brush my brows up. I have very sparse brows. So I create a lot of shape with this gel. Pick up some product. And I'm gonna come under here. To create my shape. I don't want too much product going into the front of my brows. You want them to kind of be a little bit lighter than the rest. So I'm not going to pick up any more product and I'm just going to do flicks upward to create some soft brow like hairs. So now that my shape is built on this brow to start, I'm going to go in onto the other one. So 
So now that my basic shape is here, I am gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Dark. So I'm gonna use the dark shade right now. And I'm gonna come into my top here and I'm just gonna create little small flicks of brow-like hairs going down into my brow. And I'm gonna build my shape and build my color so that it looks a little bit more natural and realistic. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter color for the front and I'm going to do little soft brow like strokes upwards. And there are my brows for the day. So now I am going to just curl my lashes quick. And this is my Ride or Die Mascara, the Lash, sen Lash Sensational from Maybelline. It is by far my favorite formula, my favorite product. It gives me really nice lift. And the color is super nice and intense black. I wiggle my brush back and forth and I also twist it while I go up to make sure each lash hair gets coated evenly. This one in a waterproof and it is very waterproof. It's hard to get off so I don't use the waterproof for every day but for bridal clients or if I'm going out somewhere or something like that I will use a waterproof. And I'm going to do my lower lashes as well. Now all I need is a lip gloss because my lips are dry and chapped from this awful weather we've been having and we will be all done.